to adding villa crafts so today's video is going to be a little bit different it is not a review and it is not sponsored i found this kit in the back of my grandma's house and it's really old it's from about like i think it i looked at it and it was copyrighted in 2000 and i looked on the internet and it isn't being sold anymore so i'm not doing a review a review on this i'm just going to be kind of making a fun video just to see if i can figure out how this works and how much is left that is still in the box just to see if i can even still work this or figure out how to do this project when i was little i used to always make pot holders i don't know if it was this exact kit but here is an example of one of the pot holders I made when I was younger. So they're like a little, they're like little woven strips, as you can see there, um, that are put on this loom that we have right here, and you just like lay them across, I guess, and then you have to like weave them through and like finish off all the edges. So the kit says it comes with everything you need, which is the sturdy plastic loom, a great big crochet hook, which is this thing right here. It also comes with oodles of cotton blend loops which are these um some rainbow colored yarn which is i'm guessing what this is and a blunt yarn needle which i did not find in the kit but that is not a big problem at all because i do like own a bunch of blunt yarn needles so that's not really a problem the next thing that i'm going to be doing is taking a little look at this little pot holder book just to see what's in here and if i can figure out how to do this so we've got how to do it. So I guess you put little um, cotton bun loops and you like stretch them across the pegs and then weave in the weft loops, which are the ones that are coming across it. And then I guess you weave in the edges with the needle, I guess. Or I guess you like kind of braid it with the crochet hook to create the pot holders. And you can make picture frames, weaving patterns, woven purse. A, how to make straps, purse patterns, game boards, loopy edging, um, a big bean bag, a hound's tooth patterns, a little loopy chicken, tail feathers. It seems like a really cute book and I think I'll use it to figure out what, how to make something. Step is to gather your colors and make horizontal and vertical loops on the little loom and then we're going to weave them through each other. So I finished the vertical loops and now I have to head on to the horizontal loops. There weren't enough of a singular color to be able to do the same color all the way around so I tried to make a cute colorful pattern that wouldn't look too jumbled even though we didn't have to like we couldn't just stick with one color. So the next step is to place this on the first peg and you're supposed to weave this loop in between every other loop here. It's kind of hard to see, but you go under and then over, under, over, and you just keep pulling it through under each loop until you get to the other side. In the last one, I did under over. This time, I'm going to go over under like this. So I'll go over this one and then under this one. And then over. This way, the cotton blend loops are going to even themselves out to make a flat fabric rather than make an uneven fabric because you repeat the same steps every time and this is basically the same way you would weave a fabric if you were going to do like basket weaving or like weave with yarn or tapestries now i'm going to alternate those same steps going under over under over and then over under over under for the rest of the pot holder Hey guys, so here is the final design of the pot holder. I think it looks really cool and I really like it. And the next step is to start to bind it off. So the way you bind off is you grab two loops and you pull the bottom one over the top one. This is what I looked up in a YouTube video because the techniques I didn't really understand all that well in the book, but that is fine. I just, I guess what you're supposed to do is you're just supposed to do this and it creates the little loops and I'll show you when it's done. 
So I wove it off the loom after following a YouTube tutorial and here is the finished product. I really like how it looks and the project was really easy to do. And even though it was originally a child's kit, I think that this kit is really great for someone who wants to do a project and you can just do it while you're hanging out with friends or if it's a rainy day, it's a perfect project to be doing inside for something to do. This project did not take very long. It only took me, and this is the first time I've ever done it in a really long time, it only took me about maybe a good 10 minutes to do. Um, it did take a little bit more than that just because I did look up how to do it and I watched the video. But if I had just done this going straight through, I know I could finish this in about 10 minutes and you could make some really cool projects using this loom. The only thing that I would say is that I did wish that the pegs were a little bit longer because the um, little cotton bun loops were a little bit too thick for the loom. But that's not really a problem because you can still like get the final product with it just fine and I think it looks really good and I'm really excited to try this out a little bit more. So if you guys like that video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a summer trailer coming out soon. And like this video and comment what videos you would like us to do next. Bye, guys.